is India challenging the Arab countries in the global fuel war? A question that has been dancing on the tongues of geopolitics enthusiasts and energy analysts alike. The global fuel war as we know it has been traditionally dominated by the Arab countries, the titans of oil with their vast reserves and influential OPEC bloc. They've been the puppet masters pulling the strings of the global oil market for decades, but as Bob Dylan said, the times they are a-changing. Enter India, a nation on the cusp of a biofuel revolution looking to challenge the status quo. The Indian government's recent announcement regarding the introduction of flex-fuel vehicles could potentially disrupt the traditional fuel market, ushering in an era of biofuels. So, what are biofuels? In a nutshell, biofuels are derived from living matter or metabolic byproducts such as ethanol and biodiesel. Their adoption could reduce dependence on petrol, control inflation, and in the case of India, potentially make farmers millionaires. But the road to biofuel adoption is not without its challenges. With supply and demand side hurdles to overcome, India's foray into the biofuels market is as much an economic endeavour as it is a political one. The transformation from a predominantly oil-dependent economy to a biofuel-driven one requires a comprehensive approach, addressing issues ranging from feedstock availability to the higher cost of flex-fuel vehicles. Yet. India is not alone in this journey. In a bid to strengthen the global market for biofuels and address related challenges, India, Brazil and the United States have formed the Biofuels Alliance. This alliance represents a significant step in the global fuel war, marking a shift from the traditional oil market towards a more sustainable and inclusive energy future. India's challenge to the Arab countries in the global fuel war is a testament to the evolving dynamics of the global energy landscape. It's a game of chess, and India has just made its opening move. Now let's delve into the story of a country that has already successfully navigated this path. Brazil. Back in the 1970s, Brazil found itself in a similar situation to India today, heavily dependent on oil imports, but they found a solution. This was the era when Brazil embarked on a revolutionary journey, a biofuel revolution. It was a time of exploration and innovation, a time when Brazil decided to reduce its dependence on oil imports. How did they achieve this? Through an initiative that promoted ethanol blending. So, what exactly is ethanol blending? It's a process where ethanol, a renewable biofuel, is blended with gasoline to create a more eco-friendly fuel. This blend is not only cheaper but also reduces carbon emissions significantly. Brazil didn't just stop at ethanol blending, they took it a step further and introduced flex fuel vehicles. These vehicles, unlike conventional ones, can run on various ratios of ethanol and gasoline. This innovation served as a buffer against ethanol shortages, ensuring the wheels of the nation kept turning. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Brazil faced its fair share of challenges, from weather fluctuations affecting sugarcane production, the primary feedstock for ethanol, to the initial resistance from the oil industry, Brazil had to tackle several hurdles. Yet the country persevered, they saw the bigger picture, they understood that ethanol was a complementary product to petrol and not a competitor. While it didn't eliminate fuel price fluctuations, it certainly helped in reducing costs and carbon emissions. The result? Brazil managed to save billions on oil imports, significantly reducing their dependence on foreign oil. The carbon emissions in the country also saw a substantial reduction, making Brazil a pioneer in the biofuel revolution. This brings us back to the present day. With India facing a similar oil dependence as Brazil in the 1970s, it begs the question, can India follow a similar path? Can India leverage ethanol blending and flex fuel vehicles to control inflation and reduce oil imports? Despite the challenges, Brazil's ethanol blending initiative saved the country billions on oil imports. Can India follow a similar path? Only time will tell. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into India's journey towards biofuels in the next scene. Scene script. India stands at a crossroads, much like Brazil did decades ago. The question is, can India replicate Brazil's success? Today, India finds itself in a similar predicament to Brazil in the 1970s. With an overwhelming dependence on oil, 
the country is at the mercy of fluctuating global oil prices. This has a direct impact on the economy, leading to inflation and affecting the common man's budget. Much like Brazil, India sees a potential solution in ethanol blending and flex fuel vehicles. Ethanol blending, which is the process of adding ethanol to petrol, can reduce the cost of fuel and carbon emissions. Nitin Gadkari, India's Minister of Road Transport and Highways, even went so far as to say that it could potentially make farmers millionaires and reduce petrol costs to as low as 15 rupees per litre. Flex fuel vehicles, which can run on different ratios of petrol and ethanol, could also play a significant role in India's energy future. This technology allows for flexibility and reduces the impact of any potential ethanol shortages, much like it did in Brazil. However, the path to biofuels is not without its challenges. On the supply side, India grapples with issues like feedstock availability, the water requirements for sugarcane, and a limited ethanol distillation capacity. On the demand side, there are concerns about market viability, efficiency, and the higher cost of flex fuel vehicles. Despite these hurdles, the Indian government is taking proactive steps. It is allowing for the use of diverse raw materials, supporting the expansion of distillation capacity and offering interest subventions to boost ethanol production. Furthermore, India's involvement in the Biofuels Alliance with Brazil and the US opens up opportunities to address challenges related to limited sowing area and the cost of flex fuel vehicles. It also aims to strengthen the global market for biofuels, which could be a game changer in the global fuel war. The government of India is taking steps to overcome these challenges, but will that be enough? Only time will tell if India can successfully navigate this path and replicate Brazil's ethanol blending success story, thereby challenging the Arab countries in the global fuel war. Scene script. India is not alone in its quest to reduce oil dependence. Together with Brazil and the US, India has formed the Biofuels Alliance. This dynamic trio has a clear mission to promote the use of biofuels such as ethanol, decrease reliance on oil, and mitigate the all-too-familiar sting of inflation. The Alliance is a testament to the power of international cooperation in tackling global issues. It represents a united front against the volatility of the oil market and the environmental impact of traditional fuels. Brazil's role in the Alliance is particularly poignant. Having spearheaded a biofuel revolution in the 1970 ES, Brazil stands as a beacon of hope, a testament to the potential of ethanol blending. The South American nation managed to save billions on oil imports and significantly reduce its carbon emissions despite facing a plethora of challenges. It's a success story that India, with its similar oil dependence, seeks to emulate. Much like Brazil, India is grappling with its own set of challenges, from feedstock supply issues and water requirements for sugarcane to limited ethanol distillation capacity. The hurdles are substantial but not insurmountable. The Indian government is actively taking steps to overcome these roadblocks, diversifying raw materials, supporting distillation capacity expansion and offering financial incentives. But it's not just about overcoming supply-side issues. The Alliance also aims to address demand-side challenges. Market viability, efficiency concerns and the higher cost of flex-fuel vehicles are all on the agenda. The Alliance is determined to create a robust, resilient and sustainable global market for biofuels. By joining forces with Brazil and the US, India hopes to find solutions to limited sowing area and the cost of flex fuel vehicles. This collaborative effort is not just about meeting domestic needs, but also about strengthening the global biofuels market. It's a bold move, a statement of intent, and a step towards a more sustainable future. With the support of the Biofuels Alliance, India is well positioned to meet these challenges head on. The journey may be arduous, but the rewards are worth the effort. The global fuel war is raging, and with the Biofuels Alliance, India has a powerful ally on its side. So, what does this mean for the future of the global fuel war? As we've seen, India is taking bold strides in shifting its fuel dependence from oil to biofuels. This could potentially disrupt the global fuel market and challenge the dominance of Arab countries. It's a strategy that harks back to Brazil's biofuel revolution in the 70s, which led to significant reductions in oil imports and carbon emissions. But it's not just about reducing oil imports. 
Biofuels such as ethanol also offer a complementary solution to petrol, helping to control fuel costs and carbon emissions. This doesn't mean an end to fuel price fluctuations, but it does offer a buffer. India's path to biofuels, however, is not without its challenges. Feedstock supply, water requirements for sugarcane, and limited ethanol distillation capacity are all hurdles that need to be overcome. But the Indian government is not standing idle. They are taking steps to diversify raw materials, expand distillation capacity, and offer interest subventions. Yet there are also demand-side challenges to contend with. Market viability, efficiency concerns, and the higher cost of flex-fuel vehicles are all factors that could slow down India's biofuel ambitions. But remember, India is not alone in this journey. They formed the Biofuels Alliance with Brazil and the US, a partnership that aims to address these challenges and strengthen the global market for biofuels. So as we look to the future of the global fuel war, we can see that India's biofuel efforts could potentially shift the balance of power. They are not just challenging the Arab countries, they are challenging the status quo. They are showing that there are viable alternatives to oil, and in doing so, they are redefining the rules of the game. In this global fuel war, India's actions could potentially redefine the rules of the game. Only time will tell who emerges victorious.